Welcome to Nick's Tesla Life. Hey, I wanted to see if the uh, auto park works when I have a big truck with a open spot next to it. So I'm going to pass that big truck. There's the spot. And see if auto park gets detected. And it looks like it doesn't. So I'm going to try up here. Maybe there's a spot up here to prove that it does work. And here's a spot. So again, basically you just drive past the cars. And uh, we should get a little P. There it is. And you put the car in reverse and hit start and it goes it's pretty cool did a whole video on this you know, it's probably not going to be able to make it so it's going to go forward goes back to finish steering wheels I'm not touching a thing it's going a little there it goes what I didn't do last time is it looks like it's crooked but let's actually go outside and take a peek at how it looks So, it looks dead straight, and it is very equally divided between these two cars, which is pretty cool. So even though it, it doesn't look like um, it's straight in the diagram, and uh, basically very similar, that car's a little more forward, but uh, did a great job. Let's go. See if we can do that spot uh, in front of uh, the truck. We'll try it in the opposite direction this time. So there's the truck. Um, and we're going to drive up next to it. There's the spot. Let's see if uh, it picks it up. doesn't. Now it may be because I'm driving too close to the truck. Let's um, try this again. And um, I was trying to stay close to the truck. So this time let's stay a little further away. Hopefully the sensors uh, still picked up the sensors. But um, a little further away. Let's see if it picks up the spot. Doesn't. Uh, I'm going to try it again and be even further away, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to drive down sort of a little further away from the truck. Hopefully it won't pick up the truck. There's a clear spot there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it works. Hmm. Let's try it again up here just to show you that it does work. Um, I'm going to drive real close to the cars. Oh, picked up a park there. Where did it pick up? <laughs> Let's try it. This is going to be a little scary. A park in progress. Oh, it might be. 
Oh my god, it picked up a parking spot pretty far back. Wow. I didn't know that uh, it, uh, so it would have parked in there. Uh, I didn't know that it could uh, allow you to drive past a parking spot that far. Oh, look, I put on the brake and then I didn't know this. You could hit resume to let it continue to try to go into that spot, which is pretty cool. Wow, I'm real close to that other car. It detected that. Now it's going forward. So, um, looks like you can drive fairly pa far past the car uh, to auto park, and it will go back and find the spot. Uh, I thought it would. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna park in here fine. Next thing I want to show you is uh, let's go past. Um, I don't think it detects. So it's going to detect this one spot here. Okay, we should see a P show up. And let's see when the P shows up. So P shows up right there uh, pretty much as soon as I'm about to pass the spot. Now I'm going to continue forward. And there's a big set of three spots here. And wait until I get past this last car here. Uh, now that P's showing up. Oh no, the P disappeared. And a P doesn't show up uh, for multiple spots that are open. Oh, I didn't pick up the one spot that was there. So now there's two spots. I'm trying to figure out um, if it detects or works with uh, one spot. So let's see. I think we have. Uh, let's see how far away we have to get to. So here's a single spot that we should pick up right about now. Yep. So as soon as your car passes it, it detects it. Now what I'm curious is, I'm going to go one car past, two cars past, three cars past, and it disappears. So after uh, between two and three cars passed, uh, it doesn't then allow you to uh, park. Now we're right next to a spot which we should pick up um, right about mm, pretty soon, right about now it should pick it up. Oh, interesting. It missed the second one. Missed the second one because there was one before it. So, let's try that again. People, if anyone's watching me, they're going to think I'm nuts. So there's uh, two parking spots, uh, one here and one four cars, five cars past. So it's interesting. So I'm going to drive past the first one, which it'll detect. Okay, so we have two spots <clears throat> in a row here. We've got this one which it should pick up uh, right about now. Yes, it did, and I'm not going to go. I'm just going to keep going. There's another one. Let's see if it picks up this second one. Yeah, it does. Now I'm going to go one, two, and a half spots, because I think if I go any further, it will miss it. Put it in reverse and watch how far we have to go backwards. You're going to see it go back a good little distance here and then start turning to get into that spot and hopefully it's not going to hit anything. It's so close. Damn, it's so close. Wow, it might be able to do this without. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. 
did it without having to go forward. And again, it looks like it's crooked here, but it looks dead straight and proportional between the two cars. Hopefully you can see that. So uh, that was interesting, uh, but it would not pick up uh, a spot. Maybe the cars have to be like equally uh, um, back where that truck was. It wasn't picking that up. So thanks everyone. Just wanted to show you a little bit more detail about Auto Park and uh, it's pretty cool. I think I'll definitely uh, use it uh, in the future more. Uh, don't really use it uh, day to day. Um, I'm sort of a person that can park <laughs> without having to uh, uh, worry about uh, having the car park, but uh, it's definitely pretty cool. And uh, somebody asked, by the way, uh, do you need autopilot for auto park? And yes, you do. So you have to buy enhanced auto uh, pilot um, to get the uh, auto park feature. I think it's a $5,000 option. I don't know whether that went up or down. Uh, but uh, it doesn't come standard without uh, enhanced autopilot. Take care, everyone. Bye -bye. So I went to New York City for my 60th birthday. My son came in and surprised me. We uh, had a good time in New York City, enjoyed uh, the sights, saw a network, uh, and uh, just uh, roamed around the city. Lots of great dinners and a lot of great fun. A little time lapse of the traffic from my hotel room. It's pretty cool. This is the light show on the Empire State Building. We could see right outside our window. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.